This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I want to show you guys how to do a 3D sky replacement in Adobe After Effects. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm going to show you today. And usually people do this on a locked off shot or basically on a video that has been shot on a tripod. But we'll tackle this problem on a dolly shot. So things are going to be very interesting. Uh, I'm going to show you my workflow and my tips and techniques for dealing with these kind of shots. So uh, let me talk to you guys a little bit on why these shots are important before we jump into the tutorial. Uh, these shots are some people are basically or these kind of VFX is done on establishing shots, right? And establishing shots are very important for the storytelling process. They tell you about uh, where the character lives, where is he working, where is he going, where does he live? You know, I think I said that before, but you know, you, you, guys, you guys get the point. And if you plan to use that shot again and again in your YouTube series or in your video, then you need to see to it as a director or, or as the VFX lead or as the editor of the team or the group uh, that the video looks as good as it can look. Right. So you want to see if you're in charge of the visuals, you want to deliver your best. So, you know, this kind of visual effects really adds a good production quality to the video. As you can see, compare this to the whitewash. Right. So if, th if this is what you shot and this is happens to a lot of you know beginners because they don't have the DSLRs and the lenses. Right. And, and, you know, even other equipment to shoot properly and sky, you know, even if you have all of that sky is one thing that, you know, gets blown off almost every time so we can fix this in post in a very easy way i'm going to share with you a few techniques that i know right so even if one doesn't work second one third one definitely should work so with that being said awesome people let's get to it right or actually yeah sorry one more thing i'm using the footage from artbeachexpress.com yes i've been working with them yes they have sponsored this video uh but they are really really cool right Re really good shots um at, at good prices and I would also like to say that this one, the, the footage that we are about to use, is available in 4K. So if you are practicing compositing or if you're getting into compositing, you want to build a demo reel or something like that, you know, you, you, know, you, you can get a subscription with them, get this footage and do the sky removal work and maybe even take this a little bit further, right? Add some missiles, add some meteors, add an explosion, destroy a few buildings, man and uh, you know build an awesome demo reel so and and also full hd is also available if you're not into 4k uh for the skies i am using textures.com this are these guys are available for free so go to textures.com type in sky you know eventually after a bit of searching you're gonna end up with these guys right i downloaded this one and i'm using it so okay so it's for free and uh, with that being said let's get to it so I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to call this uh, sky removal, right? And I'm going to create the 720p so you guys can see things better and my computer doesn't crash, you know, during the tutorial. Click OK. I'm going to take this video composition. Uh, I'm going to drag and drop it over here. Now I want to make this clear that awesome people, this is just the video. OK, I haven't applied any pre effects in this. I just thought that I should, you know, pre-comp the video so that uh, you know it looks a little bit more realistic uh, as per your workflow because when you bring things in uh, from the video editor like Premiere Pro things are always going to be in a pre-comp okay so just to explain you guys a bit better I'm going to scale this down because this is a full HD clip that I have at a 67 percent super so we are ready to go now uh, one easy way of doing some sky removal is to take the sky texture that you have put it below the video layer let me actually show it to you uh, and then you know scale it down and then you know you want to enable the video and you want to change the blend mode of this from normal to soft light for this example this technique will not work I know that but ignore the buildings and take a look at the sky the sky is beautiful the white wash has been completely gone yeah I, I, I do admit that the buildings don't look that good but with a few masking tricks this can definitely work right so this is one way 
Uh, next way would be if you have blue sky in your in your footage, right? Blue plain sky, and if you want to add some more depth by using uh, you know textures like this, then you can use an effect called key light, right? And you can bl uh, you know key out, apply it, and you can just key out the blue that's there. Correct? You can do something like that. But for this example, this particular example, things are going to get a little more interesting. So here is what you do. Okay, and this is my workflow. I select the video file, I duplicate it. Okay, I'm gonna remove the eyeball from the below layer. I take my texture and I apply it, uh, or actually I keep it below these two video layers that we just made. Okay, next I go to FX and presets, I type in an effect called Luma Key. Luma Key is a lot like the key light effect, but basically it is gonna look at the black and white of, uh, of a particular shot. Right, so let me just solo this so you guys can understand this a bit better. By default, Luma key is going to be on key out darker. We want to change that and make it key out brighter. And as soon as I do that, everything is going to go away. Superb. This is exactly what we want. Next awesome people, we'll increase the threshold to bring back, uh, bring back some of the details. Right, and as I do this, you can see water is coming back, the buildings are coming back. That's awesome. Now you don't want to go here. Okay. You just want to bring back the buildings and stuff. That's awesome. And now if I play this, you will see we basically have masked out the buildings. So instead of doing a full roto on the buildings, you can do something like this, you know, get a little bit creative and create a mask. Now awesome people, I'll unsolo the layer. So you'll see that there's blue sky because of this texture. And I'll use this as the mat for my uh, sky layer. Right, so I'm gonna go to track mat. If you don't see this, click on this option button, right? And I'm gonna change it to alpha inverted mat. So wherever the buildings are there, nothing is gonna be there, right? And whenever the buildings are not there, everything is the sky layer is gonna be visible. Now, awesome people, what we'll do is I'm gonna switch on the layer, the video layer that has been here, right? And nothing really is gonna happen. Like if you compare the differences, it's one and the same. So why did we do all of this? Well, now awesome people, I can reduce the opacity of the texture layer and you will see we get a little bit of a nice result, right? Like for example, without this, you can see that this is not very realistic. I've, I've seen this kind of bad sky replacement before in YouTube videos, in, you know, in, in commercials even, and it's not very realistic. So if I reduce the opacity of the texture, it gets a little bit better, right? Just, just, just like that. And this is exactly what we are looking for. You don't need to blend in the sky in any way. Like if you change it to soft light, it's better. I'm not saying it, it won't be better. I mean, it, it doesn't work here, but for, for your case, it could be better. And you know, just the best thing would be to go around experimenting, you know, seeing what works best, what gives you better detail and stuff like that. But I think I'm gonna stick with normal and I'm gonna reduce the opacity down to 50. That works best for me, okay? So now if you play this, this is a good, good sky replacement done with a little bit of color correction, you know, using magic bullet looks, you, ha you have a good and a decent shot. But there's another problem in this shot now and that, you know, because this is done on a dolly, the buildings and everything are moving, but the sky is staying very static. We need the sky to rotate in that 3D way too. So how do we do that now? It's very easy guys. I'm going to go to FX and presets. I'm going to type in 3D camera tracker, apply it to the video. Right, and I'm gonna let it analyze. Basically, what we'll do is we'll track that sky and then we'll create a few duplicates and we'll place them in the Z depth properly. If this sounds confusing to you, don't worry. I'm gonna pause the video now. Uh, once this has, you know, once I have my track points, I'll come back and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I'm done tracking my footage and here is a very interesting problem. <laughs> uh, I select my video file, I go to my camera tracker and this says, Camera tracker layer layer size must match composition and default transform values. Basically, awesome people, I squished down the pre comp for the tutorial purpose, right? And it's giving me hard time now. So what I'll do, and this this is something that happens every time in compositing, okay? Whether you are squishing down 4K or 6K video, and you need to know how to troubleshoot. It's very easy actually. Uh, we'll cut paste. So we'll I'll select this layer. I'll press Control X for cut, right? And I'm gonna pre-comp this video. So I'm gonna control shift C this, I'll call this video comp one. I'll uh, move all attributes, right? If I hit the S key now, you can see it's 100 again. So if I paste this now, or if I 
apply the camera tracker it's gonna analyze again but this time it should give me my proper track point so I'm gonna pause this video one more time and I'll come back to you alright so now awesome people the camera tracking is done so if I select it yes the track points are now visible <laughs> so uh, you know we can continue with our VFX work so yes the track points are superb now we don't really need the tracking for anything we basically need the the, the 3d camera that after effects has generated uh, you know for the movement right so I'm gonna select one of these guys I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do create solid and camera again we don't really need the solid uh, so I can just disable it but the camera is what we are really after now awesome people uh, in order to fix that static sky problem what we'll do is I'm gonna select this uh, this texture layer click on toggle switches and mode to get your 3d buttons and I'm gonna make this into a 3d layer as soon as I do that you will see that the movement is there the, the sky is definitely following our uh, the videos movements but it's doing it all wrong because at the starting frame it's a little bit off so it's okay you know things is okay uh, what we'll do is we'll have to fix it manually and because we don't have any keyframes on this like position or rotation this is going to be quite easy to do right so I'm going to uh, move this just you know over here and then I'm going to rotate it like this right uh, I'm going to and uh, b by the way I'm, I'm holding down the W key for rotations so I'm going to rotate it like so move it right there just a bit more like this right and that is superb. Now if you play it, and uh, we're gonna get this problem now. And compositing, in my opinion, is all about problems. You just need to get more problems, fix more problems, <laughs> you know? Um, so now, uh, actually, wow, look at this. I just fixed it in a very weird way, where I just positioned and rotated everything so perfectly that we're getting the full sky in one shot. But say you weren't so lucky, right? Or the footage that you're working is actually giving you this cut problem. Because in the tutorial preview, this was, you know, this cut problem was there for me. So how did I fix it? Well, it's actually very easy. You just duplicate this layer. Okay. And now you just position it over here and you rotate it like so. Now this is going to get you a little bit of a, you know, this overlap problem. And the reason for this is because the texture layers over here have the opacity of 50-50. So it's overlapping and therefore, you know, we're having some weird anomalies. Uh, we're very easy to fix this awesome people. You can use a mask for doing this. So if I take the pen tool, I can just mask this much portion out, right? And that should probably fix it. I'm going to have to invert the mask. So click on that. And the mask is definitely helping us. We can uh, feather out the mask and that would create some interesting effects. Uh, what you can do is you can also apply not the same mask, but you'll have to recreate the mask over there. But you can uh, apply one more mask on this layer, right? Mask it over here. And, and you, you, you'll have to adjust the mask a little bit. So this is going to take a little time, but that's okay because the end result is going to be superb. Alright. And then feather it out. And of course, in, invert the mask, guys. Invert it, please. And feather it out. Like so. Alright. Now, if you're getting this problem, no worries. We'll have to fix it. A little bit of brainstorming, a little bit of, uh, you know, trial and error is important, but uh, things are going to look good. So. As you can see, that edge is definitely gone, or is it? Okay, so the edge is definitely gone, but now we are left with this white patch of a problem. How do we fix that? Well, you can move things in like so. And the, the only thing we are interested in is not having any anomalies at the end. We don't care about how, you know, how are we getting it done, what effects we are using or no, but at the end, everything should look just perfect you know, perfect, you know, something like that. So, um, as, as you can see, I just rotated things, you know, saw to it that the mask were working, saw to it that the final result was acceptable to the point where it, it doesn't look fake, right? It, it, it doesn't look edited. It should send the message that we shot everything like this. Even, even though we didn't, that's okay. It should, should look realistic. And now everything looks a little dull to me, but the sky is definitely there now. You know, like you can compare before and after. Right, so the sky is there, but everything looks a little bit dull. So you can create a new adjustment layer, do a little bit of correction, uh, sorry, color correction, I meant, 
and I've done a lot, a lot of tutorials on color correction so you can check them out if you like um, oh sorry not color correction I'm gonna go for curves curves change it a bit right just a bit we, we don't want anything too drastic but just a bit should be awesome right and you can go for oops blues and just, you know remove that a little bit like that and there you go right so that is how you do color uh, or sorry sky replacement in Adobe After Effects awesome people here is the original thing now you have to remember that this was a tutorial right I had to hurry up things like I couldn't you know spend proper time masking things out and stuff but if you take the time to do things right you're gonna end up with this right so my name is TJ style thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial and I will see you all next time take care everyone